Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, for another YouTube video, All In Crypto here. And today we are going to be covering Cardano. And it's been a little while since we've dived into Cardano, um, but we're going to be doing a little bit of catching up in this video. We're going to start the video off with a clip from Charles Hoskinson, really kind of outlining what the vision for Cardano is. And the vision that Cardano has is the reason that we continue to talk about it on this channel and actually um, like it as a blockchain, as an operating system. You know, we really do believe that we're moving more towards, uh, more and more towards a totalitarian, a totalitarian kind of world uh, where everything is um, controlled by a very small number of individuals, whether that be corporations, institutions, or whatever it may be. Uh, and in the same way that Bitcoin, and we'll, we'll read the abstract again from the Bitcoin white paper after we've heard from Charles Hoskinson, Bitcoin really sought to disrupt this um, and actually sought to disrupt this in an area that was probably most needed to be disrupted. Uh, and that is in the form of uh, money um, and um, kind of accounting monetary systems. Um, and Cardano is, we believe, the predecessor of that in regards to enabling a system that grants you your sovereignty back in a world where your sovereignties and your rights are being infringed upon at pretty much every point by um, monopolies. You know, Bitcoin was birthed, I believe, if you believe the, the narrative with Satoshi and you don't think it's kind of a Trojan horse into moving us all into a, a new monetary system um, that's global and, and so on and so forth. We're not going to go down that way. But, 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 but I truly do believe that Cardano is a blockchain that is built for the people. And, and we get a lot of comments on a lot of our videos because we cover so many blockchains. We've got lots of favorite blockchains. Lots of them work with institutions and, and, and are um, fulfilling and... and instead of challenging the traditional financial system, actually upgrading it with DLT, uh, distributed ledger technology. Um, however, um, I do feel like Bitcoin is certainly there to challenge it. And the likes of Cardano is as well. And, and what's the value of a system that gives you your rights back, gives you your identity back, gives you your financial freedom back at a time when that has never been um, taken away from you so much. So that's where we're gonna start the video off. Then we'll dive into a weekly development report Cardano has now been operating for six years, I believe on the 23rd of September, six years ago. So two days ago, six years prior to that, you had the Genesis block for Cardano um, that was actually minted. And actually our state pool, all in, um, has been um, now officially running for two years, which is a big achievement for us. We always set out with the goal in mind of um, helping to run the Cardano network. And we'd be doing that. So if anyone does have any spare aid that considers delegating that appreciates the content, uh, please do consider going ahead. Talking about stake pools, you know, one reason, you know, B Bitcoin came about and, and the whole kind of idea was it behind it was it's peer to peer. And how do you, and this is where tokens and this kind of whole tokenization theory comes in. How do you incentivize people to do that? Well, of course you do that with rewards. Um, in Bitcoin's case, miners get rewarded with Bitcoin. In Cardano's case, stake pool operators, which are essentially play the role of miners to facilitate the network, get rewarded in um, ADA. Um, and that's a fundamental part of something that I think people really miss is a system that's for the people needs to be ran by the people. And Cardano absolutely ticks that box and facilitates it. Not only is it one of the most developed blockchains, and it has probably one of, if not the best communities out there, um, it really is a sovereign blockchain and it and we always say that actually the bitcoin maxis if they only understood cardano a little bit more would, would would probably gravitate towards it you know it's the closest blockchain i believe to satoshi's initial vision and, and actually it's expanded on that so let's not waste any more time with me rambling on philosophically let's dive into the clip of charles hoskinson talking about what's coming um, and talking about Cardano and its kind of vision and, 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 and really what it's set out um, to do. Welcome to Scotland. Uh, this is a very special place, University of Edinburgh. And it's pretty amazing how so many people were all united with a desire just to make Cardano better. You know, this is 
the most complicated thing that we've ever done as a community because what we're doing is effectively building a government to unlock all the value that the ecosystem has accrued throughout the years. When we said, hey, we'd like some people to start working on governance as a community and having over a thousand people take time to sit in a room for a few days and talk about DREPs and constitutional committee and rights and these types of things, it's not exactly something you'd expect people would do. But not only did they do it, they showed up. And therein lies the magic of a decentralized ecosystem, uh, is when you have this ability to call people all across the world, huge amount of diversity, to just show up and think and do. And every single thing we do in this ecosystem is about getting to a point where we have the ability to do more. The core of Cardano has always been about maximizing every person's voice and their freedom and giving them a set of tools where they get to define what their own money is, to define what their own identity is, to define how the society around them should work and operate. And I hope that we can get everything done in just a few days and have a really successful closing and also get 1694 implemented and turned on. And then we can look at this as one of the great moments in the history of Cardano. Hopefully many, many, many more to come in the ensuing decades. Cheers. That, ladies and gentlemen, is why we continue to back Cardano. Um, I do genuinely think that is the true vision and purpose behind Cardano. Uh, and if you look at the Bitcoin white paper, which is what we're now going to jump into, you know, you can see Satoshi's vision was really to move away from centralization to decentralization. And a lot of blockchain projects out there are reintroducing that. Whereas Cardano is, I, I think it's a, a good way to term it, is an organic blockchain that's been built from the bottom up for the people and by the people. Um, and the abstract for the Bitcoin white paper, a purely peer-to-peer -peer version of electronic cash would allow online payments to be sent directly from one party to another without going through financial institutions. Digital signatures provide part of the solution, but the main benefits are lost if a trusted third party is still required to prevent double spending. We propose a solution to the double spending problem using a peer-to-peer -peer network. The network timestamps transactions transactions by hashing them into an ongoing chain of hash-based proof-of-work, forming a record that cannot be changed without redoing events witnessed by proof um, that it came from the largest pool of CPU power, as long as majority of CPU power is controlled by nodes that are not cooperating to attack the network, they'll generate the longest chain and outpace attackers. The network itself requires minimal structure. Messages are broadcast on a best effort basis and nodes can leave and rejoin the network at will, uh, accepting the longest proof of work chain as proof of what's happened while they were gone. Cardano, although it's proof of stake, although it doesn't have miners, it has stake pools, is very much the exact same things. But not only can you send and receive value in the form of ADA, and you can do that in a, a, a way actually that's unbelievable because you can send you know, hundreds potentially of tokens in one transaction for, this, for, one, for one price. Can't do that on most other blockchains. And that's because of the ET, e, e, ETXO. Um, you know, Cardano, it has, it, it's the predecessor. It's the next generation of this vision. Uh, I truly do believe that. And actually Cardano has now been going for, it was the sixth year anniversary of the Genesis block two days ago. It's really as an ecosystem thriving and it, it, it's thriving organically. It's not thriving because, you know, there's um, be it hundreds of millions of dollars right now in terms of VCs putting money into it or, 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 or there's necessarily those incentives. It's thriving because people want to build, people see the value. Uh, and in terms of TVL, we're one of the few blockchains, I don't know if we worked our way right the way up that chart, but one of the few blockchains that's actually seen real good growth during uh, what's been quite a suppressive period um, in the markets. And going back over to the weekly development reports, um, you know, you can see you've got 144 projects now launched. You've got 128 sorry 1285 projects building 
You've got 8.8 .8 million native tokens. You've got token policies. You've got Plutus scripts, which is smart contract scripts. Transactions now stand at 75.3 million and Plutus V2 scripts. And obviously there's a lot of development in all different angles. We've spoken about the kind of Cardano layer cake. Of course, Basho is an era that we are still in, but we're also now working on Voltaire at the same time, which is sort of the age of governance and this kind of CIP. Um, Sancho Net is now live for CIP 1694. Uh, I believe we're actually operating um, under that new node. Um, and in regards to Basho, the era of scaling, you know, you've got things like Hydra, Mithril teams. Um, you've got things like Marlow. There's lots and lots of things going on that are all working towards Marlow not necessarily scaling. I think that's more um, Plutus, um, but it kind of is scaling in, in in the form of scaling the ability of people to um, facilitate card contract, smart contracts uh, in an easier manner. You know, there's been this real barrier with Haskell that's been broken down with things like Aiken, you know, all these other things. Um, it's very, very interesting. So there's a lot going on. Um, we haven't covered Cardano in a little while. You can see the intersect roadmap. So, and maybe this was inspired by regulations, you know, the GitHubs have kind of been transferred over to Intersect, which is kind of Cardano rather than IOHK. It's kind of its own thing. You can see it's got a very fruitful roadmap. You know, this is the stuff that's, you know, if we zoom up to present day, which is obviously um, Q4 2023, obviously you've had the token 2049. Um, you've got a number of other things coming up. Sancho Net, Feature Rich. You've got the Cardano Summit coming up in November. It's going to be interesting to see what comes out of that. And obviously, usually you do get a nice little run up into that. You've got a repos to migrate to Intersect. You've got the CIP for uh, 1694 uh, ratifications. Uh, and then we've got a whole load of things, including later on down the line, um, you know, bootstrapping, incentives. You know, there's a hell of a lot um, ahead of us, guys. And, and we continue to back what we believe is a very organic blockchain. I think there's a lot of us that are in the crypto space because we see the BS in the traditional financial systems. Um, and, and Cardano was built for that exact purpose, to challenge it and to give people an, an alternative. And, and we hope that it succeeds as a project. I know there's been a little bit of backfire in regards to Catalyst and how that's played out. And I will maybe make a video on that because it's, it's, contradic it's quite contradictory how that played out, I think. Um, but we'll make a longer video on that, talking about that specifically. You know, this was just really an update. And for us to say, yeah, we still give a thumbs up to Cardano. It's still a part of our portfolio. Um, we've only actually started accumulating crypto really since January this year. Obviously, we got out for the majority of the bear market. Um, it might not be one of the largest positions in my portfolio from an investment point of view, but it's absolutely still a blockchain that we continue to back champion uh, and, and, and wish the best for. And we'll keep you guys up to date with um, up to date on uh, on this channel. So all I've got for you guys, consider staking with the All In Crypto Stake Pool. We have now been officially staking for uh, over two years uh, and long may that continue into 5, 10, 15, 20, 100 years uh, down the line when someone takes it over from me. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.